All right, guys, this is Charlie Tango 1994 back with another YouTube video. While I'm shooting some other videos of um, uh, the uh, different items that I'm planning to go camping with this, this summer, uh, I thought I'd do a quick run through of my survival tin. Um, I mentioned in my kit assessment video that um, this would be something that I would be taking with me. Um, probably keeping a in a trouser pocket or uh, you know um, on my person rather than in a bag once I get where I'm going. Um, just because it's got some some basic survival tools in it. Um, not that I'd ever consider that I'd be in a you know a desperate survival situation, but there are some tools in it that can be useful um, if you get lost or uh, you know if you. The scenario probably is that you fallen and broken a leg or something like that and it's going to be a real difficult thing for you to uh, to get back <coughs> um, and you're kind of stuck for a period maybe 24 hours maybe 48 hours where you know you really are gonna need to sort of take care of yourself uh, and if you've got nothing else with you um, if you get into that kind of situation then having a survival tin like this I'll give you some some really really basic uh, and sort of fundamental um, provisions or, or access to kind of resources or whatever else. If you're new to this channel and would like to see more CB related videos, feel free to hit the subscribe button below and watch out for new videos uploaded every Wednesday. If you enjoy my videos, don't forget to hit the like button or leave me a note in the comments section. Also. If you're new to CB Radio, watch this video through to the end to find out more about the free gift I offer to all of my subscribers. So, if I just run through the different things that are in here and the reasons that they're in here, then uh, it might make more sense as to, to why it's a good idea to, to carry one of these on your person um, when you're out in the outdoors. So, start really with the lid. Um, obviously, you've got a container to keep everything in, but a container is an important basic tool uh, in in kind of the bushcraft survival sort of situation. Um, you can gather up things and, and store them in here, um, as well as you know in a really desperate situation, um, you could gather up water or um, you know get it from a stream even. But you could capture rain. Um, you can also use this kind of as a, as a pan to cook on if you can create a fire which again we've got the ability, the ability to be able to do with um, the contents of this tin. Um, the other thing it can be used for because of its kind of reflective service, surfaces is uh, as a signal mirror so again in terms of uh, kind of survival strategies and, and theory um, signaling is an important part and the, the tin itself serves uh, as a as a kind of flashlight or a, a you know a reflector to to attract people's attention. Um, we mentioned fire, and in the in the survival tin, um, there's a fire steel. Uh, very very reliable uh, in terms of being able to get spark. The the issue is getting the spark uh, to convert into a flame, and then a flame to convert into a fire. And uh, there might be uh, another video or two that I do sometime in the future where we do a bit more with fire in terms of different ways of starting a fire, good things to carry with you, um, or to you know the types of resources to look for um, if you are needing to or planning to build a fire um, while you're out camping or while you're out you know um, traveling around. Um, other items that you'll you'll find. Um, in most survival packs they are fairly generic to be honest the ones that I've looked at anyway there's a, um, a sewing kit with some buttons and bits and pieces they're not just for kind of repairing clothes there's a needle in there I mean there's hundreds of different uses for a needle in a survival situation I'm not gonna spend ages talking about it there's thread in there which again can be used for a number of different purposes uh, but keeping your clothes you know if you do tear something um, certainly in, in bad weather conditions you're going to want to be able to repair what you've got um, to, to prevent kind of worsening your condition um, other things that we've got 
for you know food sources there's some uh, snare wire again you'd have to be in fairly dire straits to need to <coughs> go out and trap animals but um, you know the, the, the resources are there for you in this in this emergency situation to uh, to be able to trap food um, this I'm not going to unravel it but this is a smaller version of something similar to what was in a previous video of mine um, is that it's a saw uh, a couple of different ways you can use it but it is part of being able to prepare firewood um, and uh, gather up those kind of resources um, should you need to create a fire um, in a, in a kind of survival situation um, again very common is the miniature compass uh, if you are lost um, you need some means of being able to work out your whereabouts or at least work out your general direction um, so that if you are in serious trouble and you are needing to walk out of a situation um, you might have some general idea about where you're heading to um, other items that you'll find in, in survival tools, some do, some don't. This is a little tiny pocket knife, not really much good for much, but again, in a in a really bad situation, having something is better than having nothing. And uh, actually, a knife that size, it's got certain certain tasks that it can do, uh, but certainly, you know, if you're planning to be um, in any sort of survival situation you would normally carry more than one knife anyway but that's part of your kind of last ditch kit uh, we talked about signaling before with the with the tin itself um, very often these uh, survival tins come with a whistle again an audible way of, of attracting attention um, so you shouldn't ever really be in a situation where you haven't got the means to, to to be able to signal whilst you're um, out and about. Uh, there's a fishing kit in this in this survival tin, um, some lead weights uh, and some fishing line. So again, obviously, can be used for fishing. And there is a particular way uh, to utilise one of these, um, which possibly I might do a video of one day. But um, there are other YouTube videos out there that will talk you through how you can use one of these in a survival situation but again in terms of needing to capture um, food from the wild um, you'd need to be in pretty dire straits to, uh, to need to utilize one of those um, various pins um, safety pins stuff like that again talking about repairing clothes and if you needed to creating fish hooks or uh, can be used in snares and stuff like that so another useful item to have in a in a survival tin and then we've got some water purification tablets one tablet per one litre is usually the uh, the measure um, what I find depending on which ones you use um, they can leave quite a funny taste in the water but you know if you are going to gather up water from different water sources that you're not 100% certain are clean and palatable um, and safe to drink then uh, you should take the precautions um, to to um, make your water safe to drink uh, both by um, boiling it and and by um, adding these kind of purification tablets to to your water again very useful in a survival situation they provide a pencil um, you're going to need or you, you should have access to some kind of writing implement even in you know, a desperate situation you might want to be leaving messages or creating marks um, as you go so that uh, you know people understand where you've been or what your plans are um, if it's the only way to make contact with someone in, in some point in the future uh, if the only way to do that is with, with a pencil that you've got in a survival tin then you know, that's, that's quite a desperate situation. Lastly, I've got two rubber bands, which I use to keep the uh, tin shut. Um, they also have a number of different purposes. I mean, they work as rubber bands, so as a sort of 
fastener or whatever else um, they're useful for that but they can be used um, if I needed to create sort of a, an emergency slingshot but predominantly um, you probably use it as a, as a fire starter um, rubber is a very good tinder um, burns obviously very, very very dark and the amount of smoke that it creates and um, you can you can you know light a spark to this and it will, it will start to to burn so uh, as a fire starter it's a very useful um, resource to have you know in a survival situation so that's the contents of my survival tin and in another video I will go through um, other items that I'm looking at to take out with me uh, this summer on a number of different um, camping uh, setups that I want to try out. Thanks. Hope you enjoyed watching this video and as a thank you to you particularly if you're new to CB Radio or returning to it after many years I've put together a free information series called the Beginner's Guide to CB Radio which I'm sharing with all of my subscribers. To find out more click the link in the top right corner now.